Today it's my great pleasure to give you a sneak preview of the new CMI 30A, the 30th anniversary edition of the Fairlight CMI, the great granddaddy of the modern sampler. The first thing you'll notice is the look and feel of the original CMI has been maintained. The user interface centers around the iconic green screen and light pen. The light pen is very nice for doing detailed work such as waveform drawing, but you can use a mouse as well, which you might find more ergonomic for general operation. The software is arranged in pages, like the original CMI. You navigate the pages using the function keys or the icons at the bottom of the screen. The CMI is an exceptionally tightly integrated system and now I'm going to give you a quick look at some of the main components. The sampling page offers a high quality 24-bit sampler which can sample from analog or digital sources. The 30A has a built-in mic preamp so you can just plug in your favorite mic and start sampling. The way samples are played and controlled in real time is configured by the FX page. This is where you can map multiple samples across the keyboard. Real time controls can be patched to a vast array of sample modifiers. Controls can come from external MIDI inputs or internal functions which can be LFOs or whatever arbitrary function you design. Here I'm drawing a function which can be patched to control a sound dynamically and in incredible detail. The original CMI of the 80s had what was called a waveform editing page which let you modify samples in fairly crude ways. It was pretty limited by the 1 MHz 8-bit processor at the time. The 30A takes waveform editing to a whole new level. The famous Page D display of the CMI is now truly three-dimensional you can grab hold of the sound and look at it from every angle. This makes it easy to see how sounds evolve over their duration and develop an intuitive feel for how waveforms sound as they change over the duration of the sample. The last thing we'll look at is the sequencer, which plays the sounds. The sequencer of the 30A replicates the famous Page R of the original CMI. Here's the pattern editor of Page R. It's quite different from music recording software you're probably familiar with. It was originally invented as a means of building up rhythm backings. That's why it was called Page R. Although Page R is optimized for building up complex structures based on short patterns rather than recording music linearly, it can be used for that as well. So that was a quick peek under the hood of the new CMI 30A. In upcoming videos I'll go through the various functions in more detail and give you an idea of some of the capabilities of this new system.